Hi, thanks for joining me. It's Christine Crutcher from Create with Christine, and I'm here with another Tuesday Tip video tutorial for you. This week I am featuring a easy hot cocoa holder, and this is perfect as we get into the gift giving season. You could whip up some of these for craft fairs, for secret Santa gifts, for little gifts for co workers. So, I'm using this Snowman Season stamp set from the Holiday Catalog. And with just a few easy supplies, we will whip this up. So I'm going to do my stamping first. I cut out a Whisper White stitched oval with my stitched shapes dies. I'm going to stamp the Snowman in Memento ink. And I'm just going to ink it upside down. What I found worked best was that I tried to line up the ground across my oval and so I wanted to try to make sure my ground was straight or I'd have my snowman like kind of on the side of a hill if that makes sense. So that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to color in with some markers. If you also have Stampin' Blends, you can also use Stampin' Blends. So, pumpkin pie for his little nose. And then for the hat, I'm doing Shaded Spruce in Real Red. The hat and the scarf. So, we'll just do this really quick. I try to keep my marker on its side to preserve my Tips. This is a newer marker, so it's in pretty good shape. And I'm also using the fat end, which is a little bit adventurous. You could also try to use the skinny end. Almost done. With the shaded spruce at least. Then I'm going to come over and do my real red. And I'm going to be very adventurous because I'm still going to use the fat end. This is a little bit beat up of a marker. And I'm just going to try to add some red in here. The red matches the ribbon I'm going to use, and then I'm also going to use two of the red gems for the little buttons on my snowman, so he all coordinates. So I was in a swap, oh, it was a few months ago now, and this was, I cased this project over the person that coordinated the swap. This was one of the gifts that she sent to us for participating, and I loved it so much. I knew I wanted to show it in a video. So I'm just going to pick up two of the gems and add them on here with my Take Your Pick tool. And then I have a real red glimmer paper piece, and I should have said the measurements. The measurements for the white are 2.5 by 3.5, and, and it's the largest stitched oval, stitched oval. And then this is from the layering ovals, and it's 3 inches by 3 and 3 quarters. When I'm adhering to glimmer paper, I always want to use mini glue dots. So let me just grab my mini glue dots and I'll put some on here. I think I did about four. One at the top, a couple in the middle, and then one at the bottom. So they're on there. And then I'm ready to adhere to my glimmer. Okay. So let's go over the base of the hot cocoa holder. Okay. So now let's go over the base of the hot cocoa holder. I started with a piece of shaded spruce cardstock that's eight and a half by five and a half. And then I scored it down the middle at four and a quarter. And then what I did was I 
just embossed. This is the front with the Winter Knit 3D embossing folder. But actually before I embossed, I did cut off the angle. So what I did is I put the tip, this tip over here, the far tip of the cardstock at my trimmer at 4 inches and then I just scored on the diagonal to kind of chop off a diagonal piece of it. And that's because I want to create a pocket over here. So hopefully you got all that. I'll put the measurements in the video description. So what I want to do is put tear and tape adhesive as close to the bottom edge as I can get it. And then I'm going to put a little bit over here as well. Okay. It just tears right off. And yeah, it's pretty good. And then I like to just burnish it down with my fingernail, with a fingernail. And you can just rip it off like that. And then I'm ready to just close up and if my cutting and scoring was good, it should line up perfectly and be nice and flat. And then I'm ready to put my ribbon around. This is the Real Red Curly Ribbon in the Holiday Catalog. It's a 17 inch piece and actually I could put my hot cocoa in so I'm just going to steal this one over here for the demo and tie a bow. This ribbon's really great for projects like this, 3D projects. I did use it on some cards for one of my classes. Um, and then I'm just going to pop up my snowman on some Stampin' Dimensionals. And there we have it. There is a easy, quick and easy snowman hot cocoa holder that you can make this holiday season. Leave me a comment by Monday, November 18th for a chance to win the supplies. Just the cardstock, the paper, the ribbon, and the gems to make this project. You'll need to supply your own stamp set and ink and markers. So thanks so much for tuning in. I'll be back next week with another project to share.